better all blacks. Better people make better all blacks. That's a fascinating phrase. Uh, I'm sure whether you're a sports fan or not, rugby fan or not, you've heard of the All Blacks from New Zealand, uh, perhaps the world's greatest ever sporting team, having uh, won 75% of all their games in their 100 plus year history. 75% of all games in 100 years plus history. Phenomenal stuff. And in recent times, it got even better where they've won 85.3% of all of their games. And uh, while I'm not a diehard rugby fan, I am living in Munster, and you can't ignore uh, the Red of Munster, uh, the Red Army, and you can't ignore Thoman Park. I've happily gone there several times and uh, worn red despite being from, uh, from Dublin. Anyway, better people make better All Blacks is a phrase coined by the former head coach of the All Blacks from New Zealand, guy called Graham Henry, who was head coach there between uh, 2003 and 2012. And in that period, they won 88 out of 103 test matches. Incredible, 88 out of 103 test matches. And uh, he said that he recruits, uh, fields his team and retains his players based on three principles. Number one, character. Number two, character. And number three, character. Is there a pattern there? Of course there is. Number one, character. Number two, character. Number three, character. Better people make better All Blacks. And the same goes for you and me. Better people build better businesses. Better people build better businesses. Better people make better All Blacks. And better people build better businesses. So for your business to grow and my business to grow, you must grow and I must grow. If you find that your business is stagnant, but well, perhaps, my friend, you are the cork in the bottle. Perhaps you, in fact, are the blockage. Same goes for me. I put my Coffee with Colin blog, blog podcast out every single week. And in doing so, I'm speaking as much to me as I am to anybody who will watch or read or listen. You know, your business can never outgrow you. My business can never outgrow me. Better people build better businesses. For your business to grow, you must grow. For my business to grow, I must grow. For any business to survive and thrive, it needs three things. It needs a good brand, it needs great systems, and it needs wonderful people. A good brand, which is a promise, and great systems to help deliver on the promise, and wonderful people to implement those systems. Does the All Blacks have the all three? A good brand? Heck yes. Does it have great systems? Heck yes. And does it have wonderful people? Heck yes. Does your business have a good brand, great systems, and wonderful people? And if not, why not? Maybe perhaps you've got two out of three and the old song two out of three ain't bad isn't good enough. For your business to survive and thrive, you need all three, a good brand, great systems and wonderful people. And it's your job as the leader to uh, make sure that that happens, to make sure that that comes together. Character, character and character. For your business to grow, you must grow. And how are you going to grow? If you are in fact the blockage in your business at this time, well then how are you going to remove yourself as the blockage? And the answer to that is grow, become better, better people build better businesses. And how are you going to do that? You're going to read, you're going to hang around with like-minded people and you're going to guard your thoughts. You're going to read, you're going to hang around with like-minded people and you're going to guard your thoughts. They're the three things that you must do to become better as an individual so your business can follow suit. Better people build better businesses. In terms of reading, I recommend my personal 10 a day challenge. That's uh, 10 minutes or 10 pages a day in a book that you can learn from, in a book that uh, will stretch your thinking. In terms of hanging around with better people, get around people who are better than you. Get around people who are further along the journey than you. Find a seminar to go to and go to it and take notes. Sit in the front row and take notes and be fully present. Network with people, get around people who are further ahead than you, get around people who are better than you at this moment in time and learn from them and mimic them. And then guard your thoughts. I recommend cut out the news. I genuinely haven't watched the news actively in 30 years, I'd say. Decided to stop reading newspapers and stop watching the news because, uh, because it's just bad. It's just 100% negative. And why would I let that 100% negativity into my brain, particularly when I can do nothing about it? It's usually with some tragedy somewhere, somewhere else on the planet. I can do very little about it. And uh, all it does is serve to bring me down. And how is that serving the world? It's not, I'm afraid. So I recommend you consider cutting out the news or at least going on a news diet for a while and see how your thoughts change. I came across a quotation during the week attributed to Gandhi and it says, uh, your beliefs become your thoughts. 
Your thoughts become your words. Your words become your actions. Your actions become your habits. Your habits become your values. And your values become your destiny. That's Gandhi. Your beliefs become your thoughts. Your thoughts become your words. Your words become your actions. Your actions become your habits. Your habits become your values. And your values become your destiny. So is it important that you mind your thoughts? For sure it is. All success is from the inside out. All success is from the inside out. So if you want to change your future, well then change your thoughts. And how are you going to do that? Read books, hang around people who are further ahead than you are, and guard your thoughts like your brain is Fort Knox. Better people make better All Blacks, and better people build better businesses. So if you want your business to be better in the future, well, you know where it starts. It starts with you, my friend. And thank you for joining me for this week's Coffee with Colin. I hope and trust as ever you got something from it. Please consider what's been shared here today and apply it into your thinking for this next week. And then equally as importantly, come back next week and we'll share another coffee together and I'll ruminate on some other aspect of life and business. Between now and then, get some great coffee. Get some fresh air. Get some or and or. If you spend too, too much time with people, I recommend you spend a little time alone. Converse, if you spend too much time alone, I recommend you get out and meet some of those people who are further ahead than you are. And then when the time is right, and only when the time is right, get your head back in the game, get organised the week ahead, get stuck in, make next week count, and I'll see you here this time next week for another Coffee with Colin. It's launching. Oh, I love great coffee. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.